Trump is nothing if uh, not unpredictable. Uh, obviously, he gets along very well with uh, Narendra Modi. Uh, regardless of the change of administration, regardless of that, that the uh, more or less the only way out that I see that's plausible uh, is a grubby little deal. It w w won't change very much from what the previous administration, uh, or the, still the current administration in Washington, uh, uh, would have uh, arrived at. Obviously, it's not. It's up to Trump. But I think the outlines of a deal are pretty clear to me. It's very important that, it, that some such outcome uh, does come to pass, rather than public trials, uh, grand speeches, any government that uh, follows Trudeau's government in Canada, any government that follows the Biden administration in the, Uni in the United States will seek such an accommodation uh, with the Modi government in India. Let's talk about, you know, going forward. There, there is going to be a change in administration. You've heard Donald Trump uh, you know, and his rhetoric when it comes to this issue. Uh, how do you see this play out with this new administration starting January 20th? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Because uh, uh, Trump is nothing if uh, not unpredictable. Uh, obviously, he gets along very well with uh, Narendra Modi, uh, and uh, Modi has been very assiduous in peppering the, white, uh, the, the, the incoming administration uh, with praise and looking forward to uh, uh, working with his friend, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, so I expect that they will work together closely. And I expect that regardless of the change of administration, regardless of that, that the uh, more or less the only way out that I see that's plausible uh, is a grubby little deal. Uh, I think it w w won't change very much from what the previous administration uh, or the, still the current administration in Washington uh, uh, would have uh, arrived at if it were to stay in office. Obviously, it's not. It's up to Trump. But I think the outlines of a deal are pretty clear to me. Um, that deal would involve... <clears throat> Uh, concessions are off camera uh, by all sides, and by all I mean all three governments, India, the United mm -hmm. States, and Canada. And as part of that deal, India would get what it wants, namely that this would be as much as possible swept under the rug and we'll tell the Indian public uh, and we're confident in the compliance of the Indian media, um, uh, all of which, by the way, uh, uh, parroted the uh, official line that uh, Canada had censored this website in Australia for some reason, um, all of them incorrect. Uh, I think that India would, in this deal that I imagine, get what it wants in terms of sweeping this mostly under the rug, telling the public that, okay, uh, you know, we're, we're through this, we've scored another great triumph, uh, and um, there's no humiliation of India. There's no public trial. Uh, and what's going to happen is that you know, administratively, quietly and off camera, as I say, uh, without public announcement, um, we will hold somebody to account. That we, we found somebody, uh, a sacrificial lamb that we can throw under the bus to take responsibility. I'm so terribly sorry. Uh, it was me. I won't do it again. Uh, and uh, we'll say tut, 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 uh, and there will be something that looks like a trial, and then a couple of years down the road, somebody will be quietly released uh, from prison and given a gold watch for his retirement. The <laughs> Americans would get what they want in that they would preserve the important strategic relationship between the United States and India, uh, which is of surpassing importance of this whole affair. I mean, all the rest of this doesn't matter compared to the importance of keeping India, uh, at, if not in the Western tent, at least as part of our team in the co confrontation with China. Uh, and Canada would get what it wants uh, in, in uh, 
in the sense that it will have exposed um, in uh, that the plot uh, was real, that a Canadian citizen, uh, no Canadian citizen is fair game for a foreign country to come here and murder them because they, they think they're bad people. Uh, I don't dispute that, by the way, that uh, Hadeep Singh Nijjar uh, might have been uh, a bad person, maybe even a very bad person, but I don't know that. I haven't seen the evidence, and the evidence that I have seen isn't very good. Um, and and uh, I, I don't believe, and I don't think most Canadians do believe, in extrajudicial executions by foreign countries of Canadian citizens without the benefit of a trial. I, this is, these, these ideas are just uh, outrageous to Canadians and to Americans too. Anyway, in such a deal, to essentially sweep it under the rug with minimum concessions and minimum uh, uh, public humiliation for all three governments, I think this is the most likely, albeit messy, outcome. But it's, it's very important that, it, that some such outcome uh, does come to pass rather than public trials, uh, grand speeches. Uh, I, I, I think that it's too important uh, to preserve the relationships uh, of longstanding between the three countries. Uh, and it's important enough that I think any government that uh, follows Trudeau's government in Canada, any government that follows the Biden administration in the, Uni in the United States will seek such an accommodation uh, with the Modi government in India.